One of the things we're doing with this renovation uh, is bringing the home up to a 21st century energy standard. So we're not going to just use building code minimums, which are in play today, but we're going to go further forward because uh, insulation standards are changing, the codes are changing, and more insulation will be required in all new homes soon. So we're just slightly ahead of the curve so that this house will hold its value and be very comfortable for the occupants. So on the exterior of the house, we've uh, excavated down to the base of the foundation walls that were in place and we've put all new drainage around the house because there were clear signs of water getting into the basement. We've also damp proofed the walls properly and then backfilled with the native material on site. So the house will look very much like it did look before. It's just that while we're in the process, we're taking care of these subtle issues that were problems and making the house as new in a lot of ways. So one of the things we're doing in uh, virtually all new homes we do, and we're applying it here in this renovation where we can, is we're using a system to form the concrete walls in the basement called ICFs, or uh, insulated concrete forms. These forms are made of styrofoam, and they've got integrated nailing strips in them for fastening your siding or drywall, whatever the case may be. They're like a big Lego block. They're put together, they're hollow, and they snap together and then concrete is, put, is poured inside with steel to reinforce it. You've got a typically strong concrete foundation wall with permanent insulation inside and out and it makes for a very dry basement or crawl space and a very warm basement or dry or crawl space and uh, is very airtight as well. So that's a method we're using here for a little bit of infill foundation work we've had to do. Over the existing old concrete floor We've allowed enough room in our ceiling height to apply three inches of high density foam insulation, then our, our uh, vapor barrier, and there'll be steel reinforcement, and then there'll be uh, the, the new concrete floor, and we'll still have our proper ceiling height. In addition to that, we've added a mineral wool product called Roxol, uh, mineral wool insulation on the foundation walls. Now you'll see we've tucked it right down to the existing concrete slab, and then put our floor insulation against that. So we have a continuous layer of insulation isolating the basement floor from cold coming from the ground through the foundation wall or cold coming up from the ground this way. And that will make for a warmer basement floor and it'll also stabilize temperatures in the house. So this should you know, add to comfort and uh, the costs when it's done at this stage are not that great. They're relatively inexpensive materials, they install very quickly, and they do a great job. The uh, mineral wool rock sill insulation is very useful uh, in certain applications for a couple of reasons. It is absolutely resistant to insect ingress. Uh, it is literally made from mining slag and uh, volcanic rock. It is inorganic, it cannot rot, it cannot swell and absorb moisture, mold does not grow well in it, and it keeps insects out. So we've made that a barrier. When we pour concrete against there, then insects that were nesting in the ground will not want to come through this, and of course they will not want to come through concrete, or can't come through concrete. So we've essentially created a very sound and complete insect barrier in the basement. We use this rigid rock sole panel in other applications too. We'll make it part of a framed wall assembly above grade where we'll wrap it around the exterior of, of the walls. It breathes very well so it allows uh, the dissipation of moisture that's in your wall cavities. And that's very important. This particular product that we're using here is just an inch and a quarter thick. So it doesn't change the way the house looks very much doesn't uh, you know, bulk up the walls too much, but it provides a very effective uh, layer of insulation outside the framing of a house, and that prevents what's called thermal bridging, which is where even the, the lumber components of your house actually conduct more heat energy out of the house. And this isolates those framing components from the outside air. So it's a great product for certain applications.